Welcome to Cooking Vegetarian with Hi. David D. Hi, yes, hello, hi, what's going on? It's me, David D. And welcome to Cooking Vegetarian with me, David D. I decided on this Monday, my challenge today would be to cook something that I found online. A uh, vegetarian meal for myself, and since it's Super Bowl Sunday, I would I say it's a party snack, really. So it's theming. So it's great, a vegetarian party snack. So uh, come along with me as we uh, cook this uh, vegan. Let me show you what we're cooking with. Colby Jack. Flour, tortillas, garlic and herbs, powder, two empty bottles, almost empty bottles of onion powder, garlic, salt, baby spinach. And the recipe actually says black beans, but I got black eye peas. I've also taken no precautions to actually memorize the recipe. I'm not reading it at all. Um, it's a case of the, I'm pretty sure I can do this. I've done it before, <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing. First, we're gonna dump a into, oh, make sure to hit that bitch with some water. Put some water in it. Salt and fire. Take a big spoon and give it a few good turns. So we pretty much can let the beans sit uh, next we're actually gonna do a spinach. Spinach into one of these bowls with holes in them. Uh, I don't remember. The strainers, yeah, those are what they are. And uh, hit that shit with water. You know, you gotta make sure you clean off your vegetables before you use them. Well, while we wait for this, I guess I'll take this opportunity to talk to you guys about how being a vegetarian is going so far. So today is February 2nd, Sunday, the day before this video goes out. And uh, Yesterday, I realized that I was vegetarian. I remembered that I was vegetarian because the clock struck 12 a.m. and I came out to get something to eat, like a snack or anything, but then I realized that I couldn't. So I ate garlic bread instead. And I continued to eat garlic bread the majority of that day. <laughs> realizing that I couldn't just sustain myself off of garlic bread alone, I took to the internet to see, to find proper uh, meat substitutes. And that's why I'm using beans here today. Uh, I like beans, I've uh, eaten beans all my life. Beans are good for you and I like them. So uh, uh, seems like a perfect fit for my first real vegetarian meal here. Yeah, I found this uh, recipe on some like vegetarian food blog, you know what it is. Uh, as for how it's going so far, well it's only the second day, I haven't really noticed any significant changes to myself or anything like that. I'm not, I mean, I hear that when you drastically change your diet like this, um, some things can happen or whatever. But hey, um, I'm going strong, so I'm still cooking these beans. Not sure about the beans, but hey, we're gonna get through this. This morning I had a dilemma because I didn't know if eggs were considered vegetarian or not. Turns out they are, so uh, good for me. I got some vegetarian eggs this morning, but look at this. Look at what my mom made. She basically made a mound of meat. I think it's like turkey meat that she's like mushed up together and just like kind of cooked to make like pseudo sausages, but there's a lot of meat here and I can't eat any of this. And it smelled so good this morning. And that's, that's so unfortunate. <clears throat> I went to the grocery store the other day and bought myself all this like vegetarian food to cook with. And uh, the other thing I've been snacking on is actually uh, pita bread and hummus. Cause I really like the taste of them and they work well together. It's because, that's because they're both Mediterranean, but hey. Uh, <clears throat> that's pretty good. Ooh, it's 
Speaking of Mediterranean dishes, we got a feta, feta cheese here to put in some salads. Um, garden tomatoes, baby tomatoes, and then we got a spring mix, which is some more vegetables and stuff. Um, this is stuff my mom bought though. I'm gonna try to cook more. Cook more for myself. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I came back to the beans from time to time just to like stir it. Um, I'm not sure when it's good to go. They still feel like pretty firm right now and I think I want them like mushier. So that's just uh, an update on the beans if that's what you're looking for. Alright, so I tried the beans after straining them a couple of times, and I think they're about ready. So, let's go ahead and move this off the fire, turn that off, and we can move to assembling oil, tortilla, cheese slices on one side, spinach, and your beans. Light the fire. Fold over, press down, boom, spatula. I don't know, okay. ah, there we go, it's focused. Um, sounds like things are really sizzling. <laughs> Let me uh, turn, off the, turn on the fan. So uh, I flipped it over and, and spilled a bunch of beans and stuff in the way, focus camera well yeah this is everywhere I gotta probably gonna need to clean this up uh, but hey it's uh, looking nice and toasty actually uh, cheese looks like it's melting pretty good uh, you can see it right there um, <clears throat> this thing is a fat this is a fat quesadilla let me tell you Oh shit, I forgot the seasonings. Okay, that's fine. We'll just call this one a control. Let's wait and see what it tastes like. Yes, very good. Oh, there's a, there's a bean under this. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's look in the middle. It's very cheesy. You can see a bean on the left, I don't, kind of and then the spinach that's all inside of it. It's very cheesy, so let's, uh, let's take a bite. Probably because I didn't add all this stuff. Um, and it's very cheesy. Maybe I need to add less cheese. I think it, the cheese melted just fine. I think two slices is just good. Okay. Okay, it's all right. Let's see um, what my sister thinks. Hey, Kim, do you want to be on camera? Yeah. Kim? You want to try this? It's hot. What are you doing? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not pointing at you. Here. It's not pointing at you. You want to try it? Yeah, try it. Them. Yeah, I forgot the yeah. seasoning though. That's the, the beans. The beans are there, but I you think the seasoning the beans. Yeah, I season the beans with salt, but there's there's like onion powder and garlic that I'm supposed it's to like use. Quesadilla. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot all that. But okay. yeah, I said this one was the control and I'm gonna try to try it again. Right. Let's try this again. Cheeks. It's the spinach. And this time, gotta hit you with the garlic herbs, the onion, onion powder, onion powder. And there with our hands and uh, kind of mix that around a bit. <clears throat> Add the beans. Heat it up. Fold it up. This one might be a little fatter than the last one, but we'll try to 
press it down. Gotta love, you gotta love burnt cheese. Please focus camera at the burnt cheese. Okay, you know what, you can't see it, but it's gonna look great. Oh, it's gonna take. This one is just about done, so let me, let me transfer that over. Oh, you can even see the difference. This is the new one, now it's the old one. Mmm, that smells great, but we're gonna let that sit for a little while. Um, I like clean some of this stuff up, um, and then we're gonna cut into it and see how that tastes. Whew, excited. Super melty. And then, just like look inside. Mmm, that tastes pretty good actually. Oh, it feels so hot. Yep, there's a lot more flavor in that. Let's uh, see how my sister likes it. Sister, I got a new one for ya. Take a bite. Yeah, it's so hot, fresh off the Mm. This is better. This is better? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're pretty good. Mm, <clears throat> hey. <laughs> okay. So uh also if you want you can use salsa, dip it in some salsa. The I got some organic medium garden pepper. I don't know what medium is in a garden pepper, but we can try this out. We can uh Actually, with this also, this thing hits. This is pretty good. I like it. With this also, damn. Okay. Just so this is no, not me eating anymore. Thank you for watching me do this. This is cool. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, <laughs> check back with you next Monday with something new, something different. All right, bye.